The battle for Bakhmut has been fought from the trenches with relentless artillery and rocket fire across a heavily mined battlefield described as a meat grinder by commanders on both sides. It also involved house-to-house -house fighting. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has described the Bakhmut fortress as a symbol of defiance drying up the Russian military. For Russia, the fall of the Soviet-era city known as Arkhamovsk would be its first major seizure since mid-2022 and a boost in the wider war against Ukraine. The Ukrainian counterattack has ousted Russian troops from several positions in the besieged eastern city of Bakhmut, but the situation remains difficult, said Army Commander Colonel Alexander Sersky. Defense Forces Aviation on the last day carry out only four sorties on places of concentration of manpower and military equipment of the Russian occupiers. It is many times less than the average indicator who wants more. Video footage shows the FPV drone flying into the basement of a small, completely destroyed house, where six Russian invaders had just entered and exploding there and a small FPV drone carries around a kilogram of explosives. Most likely, all colonists suffered to a greater or lesser extent. More than 20,000 Russian troops have been killed and more than 80,000 injured in just five months of fighting in Ukraine accelerating heavy losses for Russia, U.S. intelligence officials estimate. Most of the troops died in brutal trench warfare for the small eastern town of Bakhmut, which Russia has repeatedly claimed was on the verge of capture. White House National Security Council spokesman John Kirby said as he revealed the new estimates Monday. The losses accelerated Russia's toll even from the bloody first days of the war and overshadowed some of the bloodiest Allied battles of the Second World War, Kirby added. Additionally, a video shows fighters from the 110th Separate Mechanized Brigade in the occupied Novosilika Druva area, north of Abdiivka, destroying a tank and a Russian invader infantry fighting vehicle. The video consists of two parts taken by drone. In both cases, the direct hit of the first shots was shown, first on a tank in the forest, then on an infantry fighting vehicle near the destroyed house. Meanwhile, on Saturday, Yevgeny Prigozhin, commander of the Russian mercenary Wagner Group, threatened to pull his men back from Bakhmut unless they received additional ammunition. According to the Washington-based Institute for the Study of War, he warned Wagner's troops would soon need to retreat in an organized manner or stay and die, and urged Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu to discharge ammunition immediately. Wagner took a leading role in attacking the city where the brutal fighting took a heavy toll on both sides. In late April, Wagner bosses also railed against Potok, a small private military formation created by Gazprom that was supposed to hold off Wagner's flank, but reportedly wanted to withdraw from action. In the first 18 hours of May 1, Bakhmut and Marienka remained the hottest spots on the front, our soldiers bravely defended. The general staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine said in an evening summary posted on the official Facebook page. The invaders focused their main efforts on offensive actions on the Lyman, Bakhmut, Avdiivka, and Marinka fronts. 41 enemy attacks were repulsed there. The fiercest battle is underway for Bakhmut and Marinka, and our soldiers are defending themselves bravely. On the Lyman front, Russian troops attempted to improve their tactical position and launched an unsuccessful offensive in the residential areas of Novoslivsk and Belohorivka. On the Avdiivka front, Russian troops conducted an unsuccessful offensive operation around Severn and Pervomysk in Donetsk Oblast. Over the past few days, the Air Force of the Ukrainian Defense Forces destroyed three Russian multiple launch rocket systems and carried out seven attacks on the labor group. Ukrainian defenders shoot down Russian Orlan-10 reconnaissance UAV. Rocket force and artillery units attacked a control point. Six groups of weapons and military equipment. Two ammunition, 
and one storage point for fuel and lubricants used by the Russians. The General Staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces reported on May 2 that Russia had lost 191,420 troops in Ukraine since the start of its full-scale invasion on February 24 last year. This number includes the 460 casualties suffered by Russian forces over the past few days. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky confirmed his military was preparing a counterattack during an interview with Scandinavian media on Saturday. Over the coming weeks the ground, currently filled with silt, is expected to solidify in eastern Ukraine, making offensive military operations easier. Meanwhile, Ukrainian troops also shelled a village in Russia's Bryansk region, which borders Ukraine on Tuesday morning, the local governor said in a social media post, the day after the explosion that derailed a freight train in the region. On the other hand, the Russian state news agency TASS reported that, according to the emergency services of the Russian Federation, eight soldiers of the Ukrainian armed forces were killed and four others were injured when Russian artillery fire destroyed Ukrainian self-propelled guns and mortars in the Kherson region. Kherson is one of the Russian partially occupied Ukrainian territories that the Russian Federation claims was annexed last year. Russia launched pre-dawn airstrikes on targets across Ukraine on Monday its second long-range strike in four days, as fighting appeared to be escalating ahead of an anticipated Ukrainian counteroffensive. The barrage of missiles comes as Ukrainian forces have stepped up their own efforts to strike Russian targets behind the front lines before what is expected to be a significant counteroffensive in the near future, carry out with the backing of powerful weapons recently delivered from Western allies. Ukraine's military said late on Monday that its planes had carried out four strikes on concentrations of Russian troops, while artillery and rockets had hit targets including ammunition depots. 